hello and welcome back to Frostpunk. Uh, as you can see in the last video, things are doing swimmingly. The city is thriving. Everyone is warm and toasty. Absolutely beautiful. We have a few problems. One is that we don't have enough space for these people to deliver their coal. So I'm going to start by building depot so that I can store more coal. And then the other problem is, there's two other problems that I've seen. And the first one is, is that we have 23 sick people because these places, uh, these are all at full capacity. So we're going to need to do something about the sick. Can't sign a new law. So it's probably best just to build another medical post. Or I can do this to speed up their recovery. Speed up everyone's recovery to try to get the sick, the unsick, and then still build another medical post because it won't really hurt me to build one. And then the third problem, it would be food is a very slim margin here. We're only gaining five a day. So I should probably do something. But the thing is, is that I think that's what I was researching, wasn't it? Was industrial hothouses? Yeah. So when this is done, then I'll be able to do that instead. It takes two of my steam cores and I have five, but it'll be worth it. Oh, what's this? Public penance, choice or duty? Sir, a group of preachers is here to talk to you about the public penance law you signed. They think it goes too far. We all agree that penance should be a choice, not a duty. You can't force people towards truth. It must grow freely in their hearts. Discontent fall or hope will rise. Well, I'm at maximum hope and low discontent. I'll raise hope a little bit more, I guess. I'll consider their words. There's my industrial hothouse. Now the question is, is I would think that I could just build this right over top of one of these. Oh, okay, so it upgrades for an additional steam core. So we'll do this. Let's do research next. I could go full on houses. Let's build an infirmary. Who's waiting? You're gonna build an outpost here to get me some more wood. And we can sign up. Ooh, what's the shiny? The captain will assume the title of the protector of the truth. He will be the only one who can tell us what is right and what is wrong, and so guide our faith. New ability, captain's words, faith keeper's temple. Each use greatly reduces discontent, but discontent will rise. I'm gonna do this one. Listen, discontent everyone. rose a little bit. Now, how do I do the discontent thingy? What is the truth? Our captain has the answers to all of life's mysteries. What does it change? We live and die by his word already. Exactly. Discontent will fall. And I use that, and then it goes down. There we go. 18 wrongdoers were inspired to change their ways. Scout unit number two has returned safely to the city. Okie dokie then. 22 more workers and seven children. Let's send them out to go do looking for something. You can go this way. Now I have 29 homeless. Okay. Captain, a group of exhausted survivors has reached our city. From their frantic explanations, we know they've come a great distance and that many of them died on the way. The phrase, doom is coming, keeps being repeated, and they say many more refugees are following them. They're begging you to help them, sir. Oh. We will send out search parties to bring them to the city. This group will enter our city, and you'll decide what to do with the others later. Let's go out and help. Solve the situation with the incoming refugees. All right, well, you, you're going to go get refugees instead. All right, so I need to build more houses. There we go. Let's build. I want to get my other hot house up because that is really important. We're gonna lengthen that shift because I need the food because more people is more food. Captain, a woman has told us that she overheard her neighbors talking about hoarding food and other supplies. We'll follow the lead. Some supplies will be recovered. How dare you hoard supplies? Who do you think you are? Memory has been researched. Okie dokie. Let's do this and I'll get more steel. Sir, a man has brought us a long list of names titled Register Infidels, Buggers. Seducers, strumpets, and other wrongdoers. He swore in his soul that his information is accurate and that all he wants is for them to repent and see the truth. These people shall repent or ignore this man. Well, I don't need to lose any more disconnect, so I'll just ignore the man. Build an infirmary in a nice warm part of town. And I could probably build another steelwork right there. Scouts have re reached the fishing village. Hot spring keeps a tiny patch of sea from freezing here. 
the Americans use this opportunity to set up a fishing village. It's deserted now. Explore. This fishing village used to supply Tesla City with food. Searching it, we found a letter. Mike, don't return to the city. Tesla is a madman. He cast out all the amputees, all the sick. Jerry's parents and old Beth are among them. There will be blood, that's for sure, and soon. The village was left in order. We could send a team here to start fishing. Leave the village intact, and you can get food later. Definitely we'll leave it intact. Free food, yes please. All right, we can either go to the ice corridor or the oddly shaped building bristling with various antennas and instruments. Uh, let's go to the ice corridor first. Wrap up well, the frost is here. There's the cold. Oh my, time to turn this on to overdrive because I don't have level four. That should be all right. Oh, refugees from Frostland running from the storm. A huge crowd of people has reached our city. Many of them are sick. They say that some, of some kind of enormous weather anomaly is coming our way and that they'll die without our help. We never have survived it. Thank our lucky stars that the polar explorer Nansen warned us about the disaster told us to evacuate. Please let us in. All right, everyone's welcome. 70 people, 30 of them ill will enter our city. Discontent will rise and hope will rise. 40 people will enter our city. Discontent will rise, hope will fall. Send them on their way. Everyone's welcome. Everyone's welcome. We won't regret it. We'll be fine. I just need to build houses now. It's perfect timing that you people show up right when I have like Really cold weather here. Let's do some research because I now have the steel seam works. Let's do steam hub ranges because that's kind of important because it would give me a little more circle around these places. Because right now, chili is not good. Bunk houses are fine. We're going to upgrade. It's not going to be cold for very long. Gosh, how cold is it going to get? If these people are warning me about it, that's kind of worrisome. All right, let's see what the sparkle is. New faith. With the introduction of the new faith, all who voice doubts will be branded enemies of the faith. Everyone must be devoted to the survival of our cause. All those who do not follow will be swept aside. After introducing... Hmm... Hope will never be a problem again. Londoners will have to renounce their views. Public execution space will be built, and Londoners will die, and some people will feel compelled to fight this law. Some of them will die. Yeah, I'm gonna just wait. I don't have any Londoners right now. That's kind of been a, a non-issue. So I will wait on the law in case I need to sign something under an emergency circumstances. Are those more refugees? Send them back out again to get those refugees. Scouts have reached the ice corridor. We're following the wide corridor of crushed ice that the American dreadnought, the USS Hephaestus, has left in its wake. We marvel at the thick slabs of ice that have been crushed and swept aside by the American dreadnought Hephaestus. Soon we might be able to learn how it managed to accomplish such feats. We can see a huge silhouette in the distance, which might be its sister ship, Prometheus. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Let's go to the research station and then to the dreadnought. One of our people has had to undergo amputation. Working in the freezing cold left him with such severe frostbite that there was no other choice. Alright. Um. I can sign the prosthetic claw, but I don't have a factory yet. I mean, I'll do it. Because I have nothing else. Hear me, hear me. It didn't say I have to build them right away. It just means I have access to it. What do you want? Sir, a crowd has dragged an old man from his house. They are going to force him to submit to public penance. Pent your wretch, someone shouts. Maybe this will teach you to keep your foul mug shut. The man is known for his sharp tongue, but we have no reason to doubt his piety and loyalty. No, disperse the crowd. I gotta save that guy. I don't want another person to die. I got enough sick people. People are worried about something like that. All right, let's build a steam hub out here. 
That'll get my other hothouse up and running again. Steam hub heat zones extend 50% further. When using this setting, steam hubs burn twice as much coal. All right, so how do I turn that on? Oh, it's already at heat zone two. Nice, okay, that's a lot better. Oh gosh, now I'm using way more coal. Okay, so let's do 10% more efficient. I'll do this one. Can I build another coal mine? Scouts have reached the research station. Inside the ransack station, we found Tesla's audio diary. A voice speaks. All the observed changes, like sun's dimming, volcanic ash, could not have caused such cooling. But what if the huge quake of 1887 in Patagonia was an asteroid strike? There's shouting, crashes, and then silence. Numerous tracks lead from the door towards the mountains. Okay, that doesn't sound good. Lots of resources though, so I'll take them. Um, hideout. There's smoke there for the dreadnought. But you guys are also carrying four steam cores. Go to the cave hideout. Hopefully they don't die by a crazy man. And it's warm. Oh, overdrive off. Oh, the second wave. Another huge group of refugees has arrived. They're in even worse condition than the previous one, many of them victims of frostbite. They all talk about a huge storm coming from the south. Nansen led us north because his years exploring the Arctic taught him to survive here using natural resources. Nobody could have guessed what was coming, though. Seventy people? You know what? I don't want to be unsympathetic, so I'm going to just say that everyone is welcome, because why not? All right, make yourselves useful, get to work. You're right, we couldn't have done it any other way. I'm gonna need more tents. And thankfully I have a steam hub out here. All right, now let's see what's going on over here. Mm, let's go see the other refugees. I'm gonna run out of food so fast. All right, so we're gonna build another one of these. Okay, you, let's see what they found at the cave. As we approach the cave, its inhabitants pull out rifles and take positions behind the wall bearing the entrance. They're in bad shape, weak from malnourishment and illness. Oh gosh. Scouts will try to reason with the Americans and convince them to join us, or the scouts will try to overpower the Americans. Let's talk to them. Seeing that we have no ill intentions, the Americans told us how they dealt justice to the inventor after expelling him from his city. We buried Tesla's battered body in the cave and are heading home with these poor wretches in tow. Alrighty then. Yay. More people. And you're coming home with four more steam cores at least, so... Build a coal thumper. Alright, let's do... Short sermon. Do this to lower discontent. All right, I'm to do another. I'm gonna do this and then do generator the two efficiency upgrades. Sir, our people are fighting. A crowd of believers gathered in the street to discuss the new law, and they soon came to blows. Our captain is a voice of truth. How can you doubt that for a second? Cries an outraged woman. Burly worker answers her solemnly. He's our leader, but a man all the same, and he can err like anyone else. He can err. Our faith needs no prophets. How should we resolve this? All right, faith keepers will disperse the crowd and people might get hurt. Or, using the captain's voice, we're now 50% less effective and hope rise. You know, I'm gonna say that I'm not infallible because I don't really wanna hurt people because I already have a lot of sick people that I'm trying to take care of and probably admitting that I can make mistakes now might help me in the future. I should build this here. That'll give me more room for more houses, which I'm gonna have to deal with soon. Gathering posts are over here, not collecting anything, because there's nothing to collect. So, they both have access to right here. So if I build another coal bumper right behind them, and I'm gonna do this. Discontent wall, discontent wall. Third group of refugees is here. They're on the verge of collapse and exhausted by their journey and by tending to the gravely ill and injured with them. Leader Nansen isn't among them. We've evacuated everyone we can, but many stayed behind with those who were too ill to travel. Nansen among them. God have mercy us all. The great frost is coming. Shall we let them in? Oh my gosh, 50 of them ill? I feel really bad. Sick 
50 of them gravely ill. They're just going to die anyway. I can't, because in one hand, I think I'm already overwhelming my medical care system. <laughs> and on the other hand, it's like I don't want to send them on their way, but hope is going to fall and discontent will rise. And that's a lot of people to feed. I'm going to have to make the tough choice here and say only 10 people are allowed. Well, you know what? Let's let them all in. Sir, now we can clearly see what the refugees were running from. The Great Frost is coming. We have to prepare. Our scientists say that they can calculate the severity of the storm from observations. They just need a day or two to prepare the instruments and install them in the beacon. All right. And I'm running out of coal, so I don't have time for a lot of this crap. I need more coal because if the Great Frost is coming, I have workers. All right. So we're going to do... Is that coal out there? Here. I'm gonna send people out to get that. We're gonna build two more coal thumpers and four more gathering posts. As far as the gravely ill, all right, 20 gravely ill are cared for here. And I have 52 gravely. I need three of these. What are you waiting for? Oh, you get to go somewhere. Ice crevice, the deep hollow, the snow burrows. Go to the ice crevice, that's the closest. These coal thumpers are automatically going to be on extended shift. I need to research that. Okay, this is the beginning of the end. The storm is coming, and when it reaches the city, there will be nothing more you can do but wait it out. The storm moves towards the city, destroying and killing everything on its way, including any outpost teams and scouts caught on crossland. It will bring with it extreme cold, which will render some facilities inoperative. The city has to be well prepared to survive this natural disaster. Okay, great. When is that coming? Hopefully a while. Uh, a captain, a woman, has told us that she overheard her neighbors talking about hoarding food and other supplies. Get some stuff back. All right. I should do this lens because I need to know when that's happening. I'll do that first. Two gathering posts here, and then I can take people off the coal pile, technically. Because those two will get it. You're gonna get all these children in there. It's fine. Alright, now we're gaining coal. Let's build another workshop so I can research twice as fast. 35 more people, 4 steam cores, 164 wood, and 57 steel. Alright, where can you go? I don't want to go too far, but you can go to the deep hollow. All right, time to build, build more homes. Workshop is going to work extended shifts. 72 untreated citizens. Scouts have reached the ice crevice. These people are on their last legs. Despite taking shelter in an ice crevice, many of them suffer from heavy frostbite and hypothermia. We can help them still if we act quickly and bring them to our city. They can't stand on their own. Some can hardly speak. Oh, 11 workers and seven children, or they die. They're on the verge of death. All right, bring them to the city. Do the right thing and it all pays off in the end, right? That's the theory anyway. Build two more medical posts. All right, so we're getting coal. How are we doing in food? All right, we're using more than we're eating. We're eating more than we're using, so I need like another 100 food. Um, this is gonna double it. Let's do that. And then, you know what? I haven't built a hunter's hut in a while, but like, it makes me wonder if I'm even gonna be able to utilize this because I s can't send people out. All right, the lens has been researched. Sir, the scientists couldn't believe their eyes, but they double and triple check their calculations. They say the strongest winds of the storm will cause the temperature to plummet beyond anything we've ever experienced before. Hunting will be impossible. The plants in the hothouses will freeze. Everyone left outside the city will perish. And so will we if we can't heat our homes properly. We have to prepare. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Call all scouts and outpost teams. Oh my gosh, seven days. Rescue the survivors from the snow burrows. Rescue the survivors in the deep hollow. 
Research generator power upgrade three. Research overdrive couplings. And gather at least a week's worth of food for each citizen. A total of 3,100 food rations. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, and I have seven days to do this. All right. So snow burrows, deep hollow, ice crevices. I got one going to Snowboro, Deep Hollow. You're going back. And then we got one more. Research overdrive couplings. All right. Overdrive couplings for start with. I am going to need way more food. So what I can do is I can build another industrial hothouse. Build it there, I guess. We're going to need to build my storage. Doesn't even have enough room for that. So we're going to build another resource depot just to hold that much food. We are going to go to the hothouses. And we are going to put them on emergency shift. And then we are going to go over here. Faith. We're going to raise hope. Where's my faith keepers? I'm going to do this. Public penance. Sir, the people you ordered to stay for the emergency shift return to work without a word of complaint. We know that with the storm coming, we need to put in extra hours. Everyone has to work together if we're to survive the deadly cold. Thank you. There we go. Okay. We are going to survive this, people. Um, now, that being said, uh, you are going to have to work overtime in there, too. All right. The people you mo ordered to stay yet for another emergency shift are working very slowly. After so many hours of toil, they become apathetic. They don't see how we could survive the storm no matter how well we prepare. All right. Let them be. This workplace will operate at 50% efficiency during this emergency shift. Or discontent will rise slightly and the faith keeper. All right. The faith keepers motivate them. Discontent will go up a little bit, but that's fine. I need the food. You are going to be for food rations. You are getting 10 people immediately going on emergency shift. Eaters are going on. Can I do anything else to lower discontent? There we go. Where's my cookhouse? Cookhouse. Oh, longer hours. There we go. Maybe I should build another cookhouse. Scouts have returned. 11 more workers. 7 children. They're going to go to the deep hollows. One day, 19 hours. All right. That's the last of them. Should I build another cookhouse? I'm going to build another cookhouse. Because we're getting more food than we can cook. Sir, a man is here to see you. He says that his daughter ran away after the news of the storm spread. He wants to borrow a scout sled and go after her. She's a big girl, but she was always very impulsive and she scares easily. The father explains, I must find her before she's lost for good. Die too. Stop him. This man will be prevented from leaving the city. Hope will fall. 30 rations will be spent. All right, go. Find your daughter. Cook house. You guys are going 18 hour shifts. Okay, we're going up to level three. I kind of need more wood fast. Okay, 178 wood. There we go. Okay. So we're, should I do efficiency first? Oh gosh, that's too cold. Kind of need that open for business. That'll raise that back up to the right temperature. All right, scouts. Rescue survivors. Okay, the long way down. Those people must have fallen into this hole while escaping the incoming storm. At least a half of them didn't survive the crash. It seems we could rescue the wounded. It is if we strap on them onto our sleds and bring them to our city quickly. Bring them to the city. It's very cold, but that's all right. I mean, I'm at full coal, so I might as well leave that on for now. Automatic prototyping. 120 wood I need. Okay, I really need wood. Put you on emergency shift. Okay, scouts have returned. All right, let's go. It's only a day away. Go see what you can see. Okay, start this research on the power upgrade. All right, and then I'm still gonna need more food. Build another hunter's hut too. And then we're gonna need to build Probably another couple resource things. 
I'm gonna take care of my homeless people building two more houses. Alright, what are we at? We only got a little bit left. I have to shut it down. We're almost at level four. Discontent is getting dangerously high. This. Do that. There we go. We did what we could to raise the heat output of the generator. This alone might not be enough. All our homes and workplaces should be as warm as possible to close. It's coming to kill in minutes. Okay, so even that might not be enough. What's it gonna take to get everybody up in bunk houses? A lot more wood. A lot more. Do this one. We'll do sawmill optimization. Okay. Snow burrows. All these people are deathly ill. It's a wonder that they're still alive. The snow burrows are only a little less freezing than the surrounding icy wasteland. It won't last a day if we don't take them right now to the city. The site's discovered the camp meteor. The scouts will bring the sick to our city safely, or the survivors will die. Bring them to our city. So I've got enough to upgrade some of these. has come to plead with you. She wants more food rations. The cooks say that she's already received her allowance. I beg you, Captain, the woman says in a trembling voice. Your men mean well, but they must have made a mistake. I need two rations, one for me and one for my sick child. Give her two rations. It's fine. Where did all my coal go? Oh my gosh, it went right to level four. Sir, we investigated the discrepancies between the raw food used and the output of the cookhouses. It turns out that cooks are stealing food. People are furious. We cut three thieves. They say they wanted to secure their families before the storm shuts down the food supply. Three people will leave the city forever. Well, you can't keep stealing. What should I do? I don't want to get rid of the people because I need the people. But at the same time, I understand these people are ticked off. Supervise. Wood is full. Okay. Let's do efficiency because, uh, let's see, hold on. I think I'm using the majority of my coal in steam hubs. Yeah, so a third of that getting back, huge. Discontent is a little high, but I think I'm gonna do the soup law. Let's do it. It'll give me the option. Go find a cookhouse. Five food rations from two raw food. Okay, that might just be enough. Now I'm gaining a thousand a day and I'm eating 500. Okay, this'll work. This is what we have to do to survive, people. Don't worry about it. I need to build more storage. All right, 12 more people, seven children. We saved everyone we could from the places we knew were still sheltering survivors. God help the rest. All right, recall all outpost teams. I am not doing that for another couple of days as it only takes them a day to get here. Recall all scouts. Okay, that's what it wants me to do. So you're doing that. You'll be there in two hours. And then the other ones, where's, where's my thing? Is that where the recall button is? Dismantle this outpost to call back an outpost team and to stop further transport. Is that what I have to do? I'll do it tomorrow because... I don't know. It seems kind of weird. Like, that's a long distance. Okay, once they get back, I'll dismantle them. That is a lot of coal that I kind of need. Okay, efficiency is good. That is very good. It did cut it down quite a bit. Let's do generator efficiency. All right, you made it to the Camp Vulcan. You're going the wrong way, the scientists mistook us for refugees, but after we tell them about our city, they're nonplussed. It's probably too close to the storm to withstand it. Well, you might consult Nansen on that if you reach him in the south. Their work here is done. We could convince them to join us so we could show them our city. Escort them to our city? They will flee north and probably perish. All right, come on home, guys. All right, let's do this. We're gonna do this. Build those bunk houses. Sir, a dozen or so people got drunk and took to the streets. They were chasing after women yelling that we should have some fun before the storm kills us all. Twelve people will leave. They'll be sent to sober up, but their doom mongering will affect hope and discontent. Hmm. I mean, send them home. 
Oh my, that was a bad decision. I guess maybe I should have banished them. But I would think that the banishing them would be worse too. They got drunk though. So like, I feel bad for banishing them for getting drunk and thinking we're all gonna die. Cause who doesn't get drunk and think we're all gonna die? But at the same time, they should have been accountable for their actions and maybe they should have been banished, whatever. All right, 24 hours to the mine. Come on, people. I don't really have a problem with hope. I have a problem with discontent. Oh, not anymore. That'll help. All right, time to dismantle the outpost. Okay, now you're automatically back at the outpost site. 13 hours to arrive is what it would take him. I kind of want the coal more than I want the wood. Just, I guess, come back. And then coal, I'm gonna start getting coal, I guess. I'm only short a hundred a day. Coal thumper makes 560 coal per day. That should give me enough efficiency, though, where I don't lose it anymore. There we go. Please tell me that's enough. Okay, so I'm gaining coal now per day. Coal mines, steam coal mines, and advanced coal mines will be another 10% efficiency. Could do that. Need 30 steel, though. 10% more coal is quite a bit. Okay, scout unit number one is return to the safe. Over here. Percent more coal from mines. Five more workers. Forty wood scouts that are idle. This band. Okay, we almost have gotten to the 3138 food. 47 homeless. One, two. One, two, three, four more houses. That's four. I need what? Five? Five. They're all tents for now. Oh, right. Here guys are working emergency shift at the coal mine. All right, where are you waiting for? I did this band. You won't be here for another hour. Okay. Disband this outpost team. Everyone with a mission away from the city is back and safe. If it's possible to be safe from the coal coming our way, that is. Hmm, I'm so close to rations. Gaining 11, I'm gaining 500 a day. So I should get in the next three days, right? I should get another 1,500. Ready right, together to restore hope. Some supplies recovered. 3,400, let's go. The people you saved barely managed to reach the city in time. At least we have a critical supply of food ready. There's not much time left. We should use it to prepare whatever else we can. After the storm hits, there'll be nothing we can do but wait it out. Oh, I know that, but like, is it just wait it out and like not have anything to do? You know what I mean? Like, am I still gonna be able to pick up coal? We have food, but like, I need coal picked up. Sir, the people employed at the coal thumper refused to work today. They intend to spend the entire shift praying. We've been working like madmen, sir, but there's only so much we can do to prepare. Let's face it, it's the end of the world. Through prayer, we could find the hope of deliverance, whatever happens. Hope will fall if you force them to work, or... Let them pray. I'm sorry, you have to work. I'm trying to keep us all from dying. And you want to take the day off to pray when I just did the prayer thingies. There we go, coal mining. Let's see how much it gives me now. 4,800 a day, so I'm now making 700 extra a day. All right, what else can I do to help? How much am I burning on heaters? 920 a day. All right, let's do that one. I think I should build a couple more resource depots for coal. And people are complaining about coal that is at home. So let's get these starting to upgrade. Uh, 
that'll help anyway. Okay, time for a procession. That'll help a little bit. There we go, much less discontent. Let me do this, which will lower my discontent even more. Sir, an argument erupted between some workers last night. Some of them wanted a portion of the resources their facility produces so they can prepare for the storm. It came to blows, and though nobody was seriously injured, tensions are running high. Yeah, I know they are. Oh, gosh. Come on, people, we're so close. We have two whole days. Alcohol is as thick as oil. It's that it's so cold our alcohol is as thick as oil. Unbelievable. It's colder than the Siberian winter. Okay. Hold on a second. It just got cold. It's gonna get cold again. Be negative 80. A mob storms the stockpiles. A crowd of terrified people who storm the stockpiles and started plundering our supplies. Managed to fight them off, but they demand wood for heating and to reinforce their homes. We need 1,200 wood to supply everybody. I don't even have close to that. I've been building you people homes, too. People may get hurt, or discontent will rise. Hmm, I'm not doing that. Well, disperse the crowd. All right, we're down to only using 3,600 a day. We're gaining 4,500 a day. But it just got cold, so I have to put this up at four. Oh gosh, and now we're burning through more coal than we have. Please tell me there's another efficiency thing here. We're gonna do this and then we're gonna upgrade our coal numbers. Storage limit reached. Why is it this one? Nobody's collecting these freaking piles. So didn't I build two more over here for this one? No, I need two more gathering posts. Well, it doesn't matter because I don't have anybody to go and get it. Post insulation. Let's do this one. And I'll do more efficient gathering posts, and then people will pick up coal faster. We're gaining more coal than we're burning, and we are at generator level four. So, not as bad as it could be, but the, it's not as good as it could be either. Okay, all the coal thumpers have temperature. All right, so this should help a little bit. Gathering post insulation, okay. Another uh, plus one, or this one. Let's do this one and they'll pick stuff up faster. Man has told us his neighbors are planning organized protest. It's content and better. This. All right, I got a lot of food, but if I don't get enough heat, the temperature's gonna drop one level. Very soon, nine hours. Negative 90 degrees Celsius. I'm not gonna have enough time for them to build these. Mission gathering. Okay, there we go. Now I'm getting 5,200 a day. Okay, this is good. Hopefully it's enough. Let's do this one and then we'll get 15% faster coal. Which should be enough to keep up with the faster gathering. My hope is, my hope is, is that even though the temperature is going to drop significantly very soon, when it drops, we're still going to be able to keep collecting the coal that's out here on the ground. If we have to run inside and hide, we're all dead. Please let me continue to work the coal mines and everything else. Because they kind of made it sound like I wasn't going to be able to. I probably should have had a lot more coal stockpiled by now. And not had to worry so much about taking care of people if I sent people away. It'll be fine. Right? Pull workers off the sawmill. 
send them over to where is it coal thumper that was kind of hot house that's fine we have enough food to last a whole week if we have to but if i send more people out to the coal pile there we go public penance is starting by the generator you will bring doom upon us confess yeah i might be doing that to people just as i had some here there we go, discontent falling. Oh, right. Not that it matters if the storm kills us. Let's take a gander. Oh my goodness. That is not good at all. That is not good even in the slightest little bit. Okay, that's fine. Well, honestly, if there's no people in this hot house that can stay there, pull them all off, put them all over here on coal. 5,800 a day, 4,700 a day. So I'm getting like almost a thousand, actually no, an entire 1,100 extra per day if I have to turn this up. And I'm getting to the point where it's gonna have to go up soon because there's like a lot of sick people, but that will be in three hours and 12 minutes. Hell has frozen over. Yeah, that's one way to look at it. Just when we thought we were doing well. Nine minutes. Oop. Brace yourselves. Oop. Is coming. Storm hits the city. Howling gale burst upon the city, and the generator creaks and groans under the weight of the wind. Pale faces turn towards rattling windows. Trembling lips utter words of prayer. The cold will be brutal. Hunting is impossible. The soil in the hot houses will freeze. We have to make do with the food we've stockpiled. Okay, so food we've stockpiled. That's fine. Now, as far as coal, that's where our problem's gonna be. The city must survive. Prepared well for the coming storm. Now all that's left is to survive until it passes. Hopefully it does pass. Oh my gosh, the temperature will drop another level, and then another level, and then another level? Holy... How cold is it going to get? Survive the storm? Oh my goodness. It is cold. Very cold. Alright, well, discontent will fall. Hope will rise. Do that real quick. Do I go into overdrive? I can afford it. Let's go into overdrive. What we need to do is I need to pull people off of cooking huts, put them on coal pickup. All right, let's see how this looks. I'm gathering 4,900 a day. I'm burning 4,600. All right, we've got this. Staying warm. Maybe I should shut the overdrive off. Generator stress will fall 25% faster. That could be... I could do that. Let's do that. I should build this. Where's the warmest coal thumper I have? Build it out here. That'll double the amount of coal I'm producing and able to pick up. I have a feeling I might have turned the generator power button on. Oh my gosh. One level, another level, three. Okay, you gotta go off. That is crazy. 100, 110, 120, 130, 40, 50? 150 degrees? Generator safety bypass. All right, more supplies. What else can I do that would help? Advanced heaters. Uh, that might help a lot. Let's do this one. All right, when it drops again, I'm gonna have to turn this into overdrive. Advanced heaters, okay. All right, with advanced heaters, I can turn overdrive off. I might as well do this. Lower my discontent. But I need the generator stress to be alright to last through these two. 
Let's do gathering post insulation. That'll help keep them warm over there. Alright, now I don't really have a choice but to go into overdrive, right? I don't know how long it's going to take for it to overheat. I'm still being able to produce enough to upkeep it. Because people have their homes, I can't have them freezing to death in their homes either. Gathering post insulation. That's good. Nice and warm in those. Healthcare insulation. I could do if I had trees. But I don't. I guess nobody's researching anything. I'm gonna turn for a drive off just for a second. Captain, an angry crowd has gathered to protest against the deplorable state of our health care. Many of our people have been ill for a long time. No, it's like, what do you want me to do? I don't have the wood building in front of me. Get out of here. I know you need health care, but like, we're in the middle of a storm. Captain, the ill and their families have gathered to demand that we do something, anything to help them. The number of frostbite cases keeps rising. We might not be able to help all the sick in time. You could use triage to heal most of them. Many would have to die. Three days to use triage. Disperse the crowd. I'm gonna disperse the crowd. I'm gonna go into laws and see what the frick triage even was. A quarter of patients die instantly. Hope will fall and discontent will rise. Yeah, I don't like that. Because how many sick people do I have? 146 sick? and rising. Alright, well people, you're gonna be in for something if I turn this on. I'm trying to keep you from dying. Not listening. There we go. We have food. Please tell me we have the coal. Oh, we're so close. Sir, one of our engineers has come crashing through the door of white face demanding to see him. I've run the calculations with the new data. The storm will pass in a couple of days, but the temperature just before the end will drop drastically. Nothing can protect us from such cold. Panic is starting to spread and people are losing all hope. What am I supposed to do? Alright, some supplies recovered. I have to turn the heater off the overdrive off because 81% is not going to be enough to last through that and three levels is too cold chilly freezing everything's freaking freezing already except for my coal generators even them they're very close all right let's do these things raise hope as high as we can keep your head high people we're gonna make it through this probably can I just get everybody, all 500 people, to leave their freaking homes and come to the generator for a few hours? Because I feel like that would be nice. Sir, a group of people employed at the gathering post refused to go to work today. They say they want to spend their final hours with their families. Or the factory will stop working for the day or force them to work. You gotta work. Oh my gosh, people are furious. People are extremely discontent with your rule. A revolt could break out against you at any minute. What should we do? Ask the faith keepers to calm them down, or you have two days to lower discontent. Calm them down. Fine. Want the heat on? Overdrive it is. There you go. All the hothouses I forgot I had on 18 hour shifts. You guys can't work in them anyway. Can't cook either because there's no food to cook. How much coal am I burning through? Barely making it. But at least I was able to get discontent down a little bit. Ventilator stress level is critical. Let it go for a minute. Oh no, the family living in this house, they're all dead. They were found huddled together in tight places under the beds behind the wardrobes and next to each other. Partially undressed, all of them froze to death. May they rest in peace. That's gotta hurt my hope. Please tell me you dropped generator. There we go, 67, back on drive. 
Sir, even more people have abandoned their workplaces. They're completely petrified. Many of them don't believe we'll make it. This time, the entire staff of the gathering post has been refused to go to work. Rise slightly, or it'll stop working. I can't afford to have you stop working. I'm literally trying my hardest. It is going to be very, very cold, very, very soon, and everyone will die if there's not enough coal to keep working. I've already only got 16 hours left. Sir, it's a miracle. The man who went looking for his daughter is back. He brought her with him. He says that he found her soon after leaving the city, but when they got lost and had to wait for a lull in the blizzard to find their way back. They are both exhausted and look frostbitten, but very happy. This better raise my hope. It didn't. Why? That's stupid. Discontent will fall. Hope will rise. There we go. I'm gonna shut this down. Stockpile some coal. I see a little sunshine there. Sir, even more people have been in their workplaces. They're completely petrified. Many of them don't believe we'll make it. Let the steel steam works. Let them stay home. Captain, the ill and their families have gathered to demand that we do something, anything, to help them. The number of frostbite keeps rising. We might not be able to help all the sick. Triage again. Let's first crowd. All right, now we're gonna turn this back on. We're at 73%. I am really hoping that it drops very cold, very fast, and then goes back up. Because that looks like, it doesn't look like it's gonna go back up. But it doesn't say it. It doesn't say it's not gonna go back up either. Hopefully that's the end of the storm. Please be the end of the storm. Uh, sir, people are extremely discontent with the rule. A revolt could break out against you at any minute. What should we do? Ask the faith keepers to keep calm them down, or we must all the faith keepers disobey you. Come on, two days is all I need. Go ahead, riot against me. You guys, people think you think you can fix this? Really? Sir, most of our people have abandoned their workplaces to stay home with their families. Only the medical facilities are still functioning. The city holds its breath, waiting for whatever the end will bring. Work ceases. We have to stay strong. Yeah, do we now? And generator stress is at 93%. This is not good. This is not good. Oh. Open up a little bit again. Oh my gosh. All right, well, work ceased, so nobody's here anyway. So I'm gonna go around and undo all of these because everybody's holding their breath. Let's just lower our discontent a little, little bit. Because if this storm doesn't pass, we're all dead. And if it does pass, then this will help me get my discontent down. There we go, discontent has fallen. Generator has been damaged and it's gonna blow. We can fix it, but only a child is small enough to fit into its mechanisms. Alternatively, a steam core could be used to shunt some pressure from the damaged assembly. This child will probably die. Discontent will rise greatly. Hope will fall greatly. The city will die. Oh my gosh, was it that close? Did it hit 100%? It hit 93. It shouldn't have zump, jumped that fast. Hopefully it doesn't like go up like one level and then say, oh yeah, survive, because I did not prepare well enough for this at all. The storm has ended. The wind dies down and the temperature fall finally starts to rise. An eerie silence descends on the city. Okay, so it was a little sunshine icon. I knew it the entire time. I had no doubts. We did it. We survived the final blow. We will live. I know, right? Considering you were about to evict me in the middle of all that after all I've done for you people. We started as a band of heathens cast out of heaven. Oh my goodness, is this a... 80 souls lacking guidance. This is a time lapse, isn't it? 
First, we put our children to work. Parents lost their children. city. Faith was abused. Maybe. Maybe just a little bit. The city survived. But was it worth it? Yes! 1887, New London. 372 souls. Negative 30 degrees. Oh, did we name it New London? Okay. Hey, we did it. I kind of had a couple doubts there towards the end, but not too many. That was kind of awesome. That was awesome. punk. And thank you to everybody who has been watching. If this is the first time seeing this, there's two other episodes before this that you can watch. The second episode is where I started this playthrough. The first one is where I failed a couple of times. So if you haven't seen those, please go ahead and check them out. There's some other series I've played so far. There's an Oxygen Not Included series I've been playing. There's a couple videos I did on Planet Coaster. Uh, if you're interested in checking those out, go right ahead. If there's any other games you'd like to see me play, if you'd like to see more videos on this game, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. It really does help. And hey, share the video, maybe. That would really help. Uh... Thanks again for hanging out. Uh, this was a really fun game to play, actually. A little bit more stressful than your average city builder because there's nothing like imminent demise pushing you to make decisions on the fly. But I enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.